In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to use the Vary Symbology by Attribute button on the Symbology tab. All right, so for this uh, particular demonstration, I've already selected the parcel layer. You noticed, uh, you'll notice that we've already created a graduated color rendering on that layer based on the market value field. Uh, but there may be certain situations where you want to enhance uh, certain symbology uh, in a layer as opposed to in kind of decrease uh, the, the visibility of, of other symbols. And so you can use the Vary Symbology by Attribute button on the Symbology pane to do this. And uh, specifically, we're looking here at uh, setting a different transparency. So if you select the transparency dropdown and then select a field, in this case, of course, we'll select uh, market value because, again, that's uh, the data that we're dealing with in this case. And so what I want to do in this case is I want to set a variable transparency range based on the data. And in this case, what I want to do is to enhance the visualization of the parcels that have either a high uh, or very high market value and uh, sort of soften uh, the visualization of the parcels that have a lower or even a medium market value. So I've selected the market value field. I don't need a normalization here. And so what we do here is we set a transparency range and our high values it's going to default to 30 for high values and low values at 70 percent so in this case your high values uh, the very highest values would be uh, having a transparency uh, uh, transparency percentage set at 30 percent all the way down to 70 percent in the low category but i'm going to enhance this even more by setting high values at zero so no transparency at all on the highest values and i'll set a value of 80 percent on the lowest values and so what this is going to do is it's going to enhance the visualizations, the visualization of uh, those parcels that have a high or very high uh, market value and uh, soften, uh, if you will, the display of those uh, parcels that are low, medium, low, and even medium. Uh, but it is a range, right? It's a range between zero and uh, and eighty, and uh, so there's there's no real hard edges here. It's kind of a continuous. Uh, set of values, but you can see how I really enhance the visualization here of my parcels that have very high and even high values and softens uh, the display of those parcels that are in the lower categories. All right, the other thing that you can do uh, from this tab is you can also set variable outline widths. Uh, and so in this case, again, we're going to select a field. Now, what we're going to do in this case is uh, we are going to look at, uh, let's just say, uh, land value. All right, so let's uh, let's look at or enable different size ranges for land values. Right? So again, what we're doing here is we're enhancing the visualization so that the outline color of those parcels that have a very high land value are also going to be enhanced. All right? So we're just kind of enhancing the visualization based on two things here. Uh, one would be the transparency another would be the the outline width for uh, for the land value as opposed to the improvement value so um, again just different ways that you can enhance the visualization uh, of your symbols and that's it for this time thanks for joining me